I honestly can't believe it. Like, I'm in a Mustang GT. Finally, I'm in a Mustang GT. I own a Mustang GT. It's it's crazy. It's surreal. Um, I saw, like, Mike posted and said, like, hey, this is uh, my buddy's dream car. Now, obviously, like, there were comments that were like, oh, your buddy needs to dream bigger. Like, obviously, there's a difference between, like, your dream car that's, like, a realistic dream car and then your dream car that you would love to have. Like, I would love to have an Aventador in my life. Uh, but I love the Mustang GT. I've always wanted one since uh, since high school. So we're already about to mod the Mustang. Now, it might not be what you think, but I think it's going to turn out pretty good. Right it over to Mike's. We're going to help him out with a few things. and can see if he can help us out with some of the stuff on the Mustang. So, of course, all my neighbors are out doing yard work to the left and right. So we're going to see uh, if I can't stall this thing pulling out of the driveway. Also, I took the advice to move my seat up. Like you guys said, um, I feel really close to the steering wheel, but I, I still cannot get close enough to have like a good, comfortable lean on the clutch. For whatever reason, not that I have anything to reference this to, but uh, the clutch is just very heavy. And um, it seems like there's just a ton of wasted space between the floor and whenever the clutch finally grabs. I know that's probably the same on a lot of manual transmission cars, um, but for this one, I don't know. It just seems like that's a little too much because taking your foot off the clutch, I've heard good and bad things where it's like, hey, take it off a little bit um, and then, then start to give it gas or take it off and give it gas the entire time you're releasing. So either way, uh, we're gonna figure it out and see what's best for this vehicle. All right, so we are off the brake. Try and stay in the driveway as best we can here. Not too bad. Still a little bit of stutter, getting the hang of it. This is about the fourth time I've driven the vehicle since um, I practiced with Mike. I'll tell you what, commentating while uh, still being this new at shifting is not, not fun. Lots of red lights between Mike and I's house. And also I've been noticing myself grabbing some shifts that aren't necessary, like they're not, not they're not necessarily needed because, um, I don't know, I just wanna get some good practice in. Um, I'm shifting to third whenever I have like 50 yards left to go to a red light that I know I'm gonna have to stop at, but it's good just to, I feel it to get the muscle memory down. I just grabbed fifth there by accident. I'm trying to go to third and I hit fifth. So I don't know. I'll get the I'll get the memory down to it pretty soon. I know a lot of you guys are like, it's not that hard. I'm a I'm a slow learner, I guess. I'm sorry. And I was also under the impression that with manual transmission, that the start and stop at the very beginning in first gear or whatever gear you start in uh, was the most difficult because you had to let the, the clutch out slowly, as you know, and press the gas uh, to match. And then once you hit that sweet spot, then you can start to release the clutch completely and then give more gas to actually start to go i thought that was the only gear when i first started like i didn't i wasn't taught anything before this that that was the only gear that you would have to like match it i thought otherwise you could just let your foot off the gas shift and then just let your foot like totally dump the clutch and then go back to shifting that is not the case it's actually as you know i know i keep saying that but i, I feel like i'm talking to an audience I'm, I'm teaching the students that already know i feel like whenever i'm talking to you guys on youtube uh, so i try and be kind of careful walking on eggshells whenever I talk about this but just like first gear whenever you're start stopping it is slowly let off the clutch and go on the gas so that kind of made me a little worried I'm like man I got to go through everything I go through on the first gear with every other gear so it's always about that clutch coming in contact uh, and and you want to make sure that it's spinning at the same speed as best you can Mike drove this the other day we went to McDonald's and uh, he was doing some cool downshifts where like you do rev matching on this and um, I still have not gotten the hang of that yet I guess you just tap the gas it rev matches and then you can shift. Uh, whenever I tap the gas, it doesn't seem to be doing what I want it to do, so maybe I'm doing something wrong, giving it too much gas or being on it for too long. Saw some comments on like how the exhaust works on this thing because I guess it has a different exhaust system or a stock exhaust system with some modifications done to it. So uh, hopefully today's video makes that a little bit better. Color. Uh, All right, I got, All right. I got the right one. <laughs> I'm getting too old for this shit. I gotta get a smaller lift. All right. Oh! Ugh. All right. Jesus. Oh, fiberglass. We're in money now. Oh, it's fiberglass, buddy. It's basically it's like a Corvette. So 
so good. Wow, so you put yeah. that whole like roll rack and they didn't have to do anything like drilling into the bed? No, they drilled into the bed sides though. It's underneath the um, the plastic cover. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah. You should break them loose for me and then I'll like get yeah. rolling on. Actually, that makes sense. Then we can work fast. Okay. Yeah. You only afforded the yep. Dakota had like 12 of them. Are you serious? Yeah. I, I mean, I think you are supposed to have like six of them. Where do you want this thing? Okay. Um, I don't know. I, I think for now we'll just put it in the yard. Kill the grass? All right. Yeah, or next to it in the driveway. I really don't know where to put it. I already had, Shane said I could keep it at his uh, shop. So that's the ultimate, which I guess would make more sense to keep it on the truck then. Wait until you get like a, another thing from Beaver. Yeah. And then we'll just haul it over. Yeah. I'll just borrow a truck from Whitmoyer, put it on that truck, and then turn it back to the dealership. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> you what the hell is this? It is a little heavy. It's got to be like 50, 200. Oh my god, the truck looks naked, dude. It does, dude. This is uh, scandalous. Holy crap, dude. It looks, wow. it looks so different. Oh my god. That's awesome. Dude, it looks so weird. It does look weird. It looks so weird now. It's like bald. I don't know what. To... I need the whips back on for sure. Dude, you need the whips. All right, boys, so we are headed over to In Shane Designs with Mike. Going to see if we can't get a quote on a wrap today and then also uh, take the car over and let my dad see it for the first time, see what he has to say about it. He's a Chevy guy, not diehard. He actually drove a Ford the majority of the time I grew up with him. Um, but, yeah, we'll see what he has to say about this thing because master mechanic, and I would love to get his opinion on this Mustang. Wow, it's the first time I'm seeing it in person. This is, we just made a quick pick stop at uh, Inchain Designs, and a couple things I didn't know about this thing is like the scoop on the front here, what's to mimic a scoop, uh, has a graphic too. You can't really see it on camera, but yeah, that black looks sweet. It's got some type of like almost smoke camo going on here. Really cool. Yeah, this thing is awesome. Whoever wins this, I will definitely be envious. Finally back at home. Lots accomplished today. We got a new decal for the truck. Super excited about that. Uh, gonna be slapping it on thanks to Inchain Designs. Um, also went over to Mike's, uh, hung out a little bit. As you can see, we helped him out with the truck cap. But the meat and potatoes of this video, we're going to be working on the exhaust tips on the car, which uh, I don't know. Oh, speaking of meat and potatoes, um, today's St. Patrick's Day girlfriend. Thank you so much. She cooked me up a delicious corned beef and potato and cabbage dinner and it was amazing so on the exhaust tips you can see they're a silver color I'm gonna be painting these to match the rest of the car here on the bottom where it's the black um so it should look very nice where it's all uh detailed together also the frame and everything else is painted black I may be able to touch up so it should look good i have painter's tape but it doesn't want to stick to the bumper so we're gonna have to get a little crafty here Oh yeah, it looks way better. So I know in the last one didn't show up, but uh, definitely a good idea to clean whatever you're painting. Um, just make sure that the paint adheres to it better. You don't have any dirt stick underneath so it doesn't flake. Now we are, at, we do have big plans. I, I, I'm sure I mentioned it. This is kind of just to get us over the hump uh, because there are plans to put a new exhaust and that is in the near future, probably within the next month. Definitely within the next month. We're going on vacation here pretty soon. But for the time being, I think this looks pretty good. Still drying a little bit, but I think that looks... I think it looks pretty good. A little bit of paint on the driveway, but that's not that big of a deal. Oh, yeah. Here, let's get a side profile view. Yeah, it looks way better. Silver with some black wheels. What do you guys think? Black wheels? I think so. I think it'll look good. Very nice. A couple of mods I had in mind. Let me know if I'm missing any that you guys would like to see. 2014 taillights. I think 2013 to 14 taillights. 15 maybe even. Um, and then also the headlights. The headlights on these I don't really mind. A lot of people were saying you got to swap out the headlights. 
it does have a huge lens, but uh, yeah, maybe 2014 headlights on this thing, and um, maybe a whole like 2015 swap of the front end. I think that would look awesome down the road, definitely at some point. Like, how does that even happen? My God, it's like it clipped the freaking caliper. I mean, I know that's not what happened, but Jesus, I don't know how you even damage something inside the wheel like that. That is, that is strange. Not too much rust. Like very, very, very little rust on just stuff that doesn't even matter. Yeah. She's pretty. Real quick, just want to go over a couple more things. If you're wondering about the Chevy, she is going to the doctors pretty soon to get a new set of shoes. Hopefully size 33. Because I'm not going to lie to you, and Mike will say the same thing. I miss the truck. It's it's a piece of junk truck, but like, I, I don't know, I miss it. Like, I just, I want to mod that instead of the Mustang. Um, I do love this car a lot, but I, I don't know, I miss the truck. I'm sure a lot of you can relate. Um, and the Dodge is still sitting over there. I'm sure you guys have seen it in a couple shots. Uh, so nothing has been forgotten on the Dodge yet. But yeah, very happy to have the three main American car brands to roll with. So upcoming, like I said, new set of wheels for the Chevy. Nothing going on with the Dodge right now. Hopefully in the soon, in the near future, we'll get that thing just... I mean, now that I don't need a trucker and, and we're like a reliable daily, that thing could just get blown out. Might just send it one of these days over at the Bog Farm. Uh, new exhaust for this thing for sure coming up. Headlights, taillights. And maybe even a wrap. That's why I was over at Chains today to get a quote on that. So we'll see how, how that goes. Uh, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. A little bit sporadic here and there. I'm getting it down. I'm trying my best to get this going. Subscribe if you like what you saw. There's a lot more going on in this build. I feel like these are the people that... I'm in the stage of the channel that's like Mike with the Hellcat. Not nearly as successful as he was. But it's going to be cool because like you guys were at that Hellcat stage in this channel. And you get to see the build from scratch and not jump in halfway through a build. Likes are always appreciated. I'll read all comments and I get back to every single one. I'll, I'll just try to as much as I can unless the video just goes insane. Then we'll see. But I can only pray for that. And that, I hope you guys had a good weekend and happy St. Patrick's Day.